Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to math. Today we're going to continue working on those triangles, okay? Two concepts of go, or we started with triangles of law of cosine or sine. Then we went, well, today we're doing law of cosine. So our objective for today is to solve for a side of a triangle using cosine, okay? We did found the area using sine. We pretty much use, use law of sine to solve for an angle or a side. Okay, today we're using cosine. I will say this, there are different ways to solve for a triangle, either angles or sides. Okay, this is one of those methods. Okay, in order to solve for cosine or using cosine, you should have at least two sides and an angle. Okay, meaning that the equations we are using today are a squared, here let me write them on the board for you guys, here we go, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2ab or bc should I say b c cosine of a okay that's one then we have b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2 a c cosine of b or c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2 a b cosine of c if you guys remember on the previous concepts Okay, always across from capital B on the side. If the angle is capital A, on the side is capital or uh, lowercase a, meaning if you guys remember our triangle. Okay, if you have capital A, capital B, and capital C. Okay, across from A, the side is little a, okay, across from b is little b, and across from capital C is lowercase c, okay. So again, you need to have two sides in one angle in order to solve for that third side. So here's our example for today. If we have a triangle, okay, that is let's see here. There's our triangle, okay? Our triangle is has C A and B has 82 degrees. It also tells us that one side is 15, the other one is 28, and we need C, okay? So keep in mind, we have 15 and 28, we have A, capital A, we have lowercase a, we have B, we have lowercase b, and we have angle C. So which one of these three equations we're gonna use, you might ask, okay? Keep in mind, obviously if it gives you angle A, then you're gonna use this one, if it gives you angle B, and if it, if it gives you angle C. So by looking at our triangle, it gives us angle C, okay? So that means we're gonna use this bottom one, okay? So we're gonna use the bottom one, which is C squared, okay, equals, we have A. A is 28, okay? Because remember, log cross from capital A is lowercase a, so we have 28 squared plus 
B squared, we have capital B, so we have lowercase b, which is 15, squared, minus 2, parentheses, A, which we have A, which is 28. We have B, which is 15, times cosine of C, which in this case, cosine of C is 82 degrees. Okay. You can type it in if you want to into the calculator exactly like this. Okay, or you can do it in pieces. It's up to you. So, 28 times 28 is 784. So we have C squared equals 784 plus 15 times 15, 225, minus 2 times 28, which is 56, times 15, times cosine of 82 degrees, okay? Now, we can add one side, okay? So we have c squared equals 784 plus 225 equals 1009 minus 56 times 15. 56 times 15, 840, cosine of 82 degrees, okay? Remember, we cannot combine 1,009 minus 840 because 840 is being multiplied by cosine of 82. So we have to solve for that part first. So 840 times cosine of 82, which gives us C squared equals 109 minus 116.905, which technically the 5 becomes that into a 1. Okay, we round it. So now we have c squared equals 1009 minus 116.91, which equals 800. And 92.09 since we are solving for C. Okay, remember we have a square. So we have to get rid of the square by doing a radical. So C equals, once we do the radical, so we have shift radical of 892.09 equals 29.86. So 29.86, and then the next factor is 6 is a 7, so that means 88, or 87. So the side is 29.87, okay? So side C, again, is 29.87. So keep in mind, guys, whatever side it gives you whatever angle it gives you, that's the one you have to use. If it gives you angle B, then use the one in the middle. If it gives you angle A, use the one on top. If again, it gives you angle C, then use the one on the bottom. Okay? All right guys, so here's your assignment for today. It's kind of easy, it's just a little lengthy, okay? So all you have to do is plug it in and solve for like a normal problem. All you have to, probably the hardest part is choosing the equation you need to use. So here's the ones for you, okay? I'm not gonna actually gonna draw the whole triangle, 
Okay, I'm only gonna give you guys the piece. So here we go. We got little a equals 14, little c equals 20, capital B equals 38 degrees. Okay? Now number one, number two, a equals 60 degrees, little c is 17, and little b is 12, and then for the last one, little a is 4, little b is 6, here, let's change that one, because that one gives you a three sides, you have to find the angles, I use b, I use a, and we use little c. All right, C equals 132 degrees. A is 15. And B is 26. Okay? All right, so again, I give you one of each. All you have to do is tell me which one's which. Solve it for whatever side you're missing. If you have any questions, let me know. Submit picture of your notes and also your work when you're done. As soon as you're done watching the video, make sure you submit your answers and I'll be here waiting for your emails.